Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is week two of the Daisy Keat Hourglass Workout Challenge. If you haven't seen week one, I mean, I obviously advise you to go watch that video so you can see my results in a week. It's pretty much the same video as this one. I do just go through my exercises and obviously what I ate in the week so you could see how much of what I was consuming. <laughs> I will obviously link that below for anybody that wants to go watch that video. I stupidly did do eight days though because I'm a fucking idiot apparently. I did the workout from Tuesday to Tuesday instead of Tuesday to Monday which I've only figured out as I've started editing that video so that was great but I'm sure that one extra day wouldn't have made like such a difference for my results you know what I mean so I'm still classing it as a week I thought I'd put in a clip of what my body looked like before so this is my body before I started any challenge this is before day one of week one but yes on to week two now and I can already tell that week two is going like way better than week one I was so exhausted after the exercises on week one I knew I would struggle but yeah I did know I would struggle that much to be honest with you but anyway we are past that now it's on to week two so hopefully a better time ahead I did film at me doing the exercises and what I ate yesterday so I'll put that in here so for breakfast this morning I did have literally my favorite favorite breakfast at the minute it's cereal with fruit if you've not tried it please please try it and then I snacked on a bag of crisps just these onion ones which I thought were really nice until I tried to give my dog some and she would not take it like my dog is not fussy at all so maybe maybe it's just me that likes them. I don't know, she did eat it eventually. Today I just had green beans, chicken and potatoes. Alex's choice of sauce was mayo. I think that's wrong, but uh, yeah, he wouldn't agree with me. And then, right, I had this as a dessert and then something must have caught my taste for chocolate because I didn't stop there. I had the rest of this Easter egg. Honestly, I could have eaten a lot of it. And then I did have loads and loads of celebrations after this. I don't know what went wrong. I have no idea what went on with me yesterday, you know. There must have been some sort of hormonal problem because I am not a chocolate fan. And yesterday I definitely, I definitely did eat like two much chocolate i actually don't know what happened i think it was just one of them days but it's okay we are past it now and i'm ready to take on the week with like a fresh mindset even though it is literally like thursday <laughs> from like how much chocolate i ate yesterday i'm not actually hungry so i'm gonna skip breakfast for today because i'm obviously i mean i'm not hungry good afternoon guys it's oh gosh what time is it it's half one it's literally it's half one and i've not had breakfast or dinner i'm just not hungry after like the amount of chocolates that i snacked on last night so yeah what i'm thinking is i'm gonna do my workout now so then hopefully i'm hungry right after it even though it's literally only gonna take like 10 15 minutes and then i can have dinner because i am actually going out for tea tonight it is date night so and usually on date night we go out for food because we're just we're just big foodies so so we're going out for food tonight and i have to set off like around four so i don't want to be full do you know what i mean for like food but i'm also not hungry now so i don't know how this is gonna go so fingers crossed i get hungry because i'm not eating if i'm not hungry Yeah, that literally made me hungry straight away. Uh, so I'm gonna have some dinner. I'm gonna have like a mixture of like dinner and breakfast, I think, because it's 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 one of them days. I'm gonna have one of these little bagel thins, some eggs, chicken, and tomato. My favorite thing at the minute are these bagel thins. It's like I'm eating like two slices of bread, but I'm not. It's just like a little bagel thin i don't know i really enjoy it recommend if you haven't tried them i just use wafer thin chicken because i literally eat chicken all the time so having it in like different forms is like better so i don't get bored i really enjoyed this it was exactly what i needed today and then obviously like i mentioned it was date night so we ended up going to the trafford center we went to um, pesto if you don't know what it is it's literally just an italian spoons in like a different font <laughs> but it was nice and then we got krispy kreme and i got a carrot Caramel donut and then Alex got this chocolate nutty one. Breakfast today was avocado on toast with tomato and hot sauce. I showed me having like a bit of popcorn but it wasn't that great honestly so I did end up just getting a rice krispie bar and then as you can see here I did start my workout and then about 30 seconds into it uh, my camera battery died so that was fun so that's why there's only a tiny little clip of me doing that and then for tea I had spaghetti bolognese and I couldn't decide which cheese I wanted so I had parmesan on one side and mozzarella on the other side. I recommend you know I will be doing that more 
often. Back with my favorite breakfast in the absolute world right now, shreddies with fruit. The one thing I've learned from this video, if I've learned anything, is that I think my dog has actual attachment issues because within any single clip in this video, she's there and like always around. <laughs> absolutely unreal this is oxtail I had to take pictures of my breakfast this morning because i was on the phone but if you haven't tried a cheese and bean toasty they are unreal please try Clearly for tea there were some leftovers of my granddad's food from yesterday so I did just end up pairing it with some vegetables and then my dad came home from the shop with this chocolate croissant which I was so gassed about. So week two is all done now and I don't know what went on with me this week. I feel like I had like just a bit of an off week. Like I literally didn't talk to the camera much at all or show you what I was making or how I was making it like but anyway we're past that. Sorry if it did seem a little different to the first one. Time for the results. Just quickly, if you haven't seen week one where I did this challenge for like a full week and then uploaded my results, go see the results of that video before you watch the results of these because week one, doing it for one week was so impressive. This is the before. I can't believe like the before picture of me was me at my pretty much like skinniest. I just woke up, not eating anything in the morning, like straight morning skinny. Do you know what I mean? So that's the skinniest pretty much I've ever really seen myself other than after a night out. And then this is the results after the two weeks of doing it every day. I cannot put into words how shocked I am. Like this morning I was looking at my body and I was literally in shock. I was stood there in the mirror like looking at my body thinking I've never looked like this in my entire life and all it is down to is two weeks of a 10 minute exercise. I think that's mad. So if you do want to know what my body's going to look like after me doing this challenge for four weeks, subscribe down below. That video will be out shortly. So yes you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you are new as it would mean the absolute world to me and yes, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.